Home audio products sold by Bose Corporation are listed below. From 1990 until the early 2010s, Bose sold several two. One channel audio systems, which used two small satellite speakers and a subwoofer. Early systems used an inbuilt CD player, followed by a DVD player and later models were AV receivers. The first two. One audio system from Bose was the Lifestyle 10, which was released in 1990. The Lifestyle 10 included a single disc CD player, an AM slash FM radio and Zone 2 RCA outputs which could be configured to output a different source to the primary speakers. A six-disc magazine style CD changer was introduced in 1996 and a touchscreen remote was introduced in 1999. The first two. One audio system from Bose to include a DVD player was the 321, released in 2001. The 321G's model was introduced in 2003, named for its use of Bose Gemstone small speakers. The 321 was replaced by the 321 Series 2 in 2004, which included two small speakers and a subwoofer. The 321 Series 2 was praised for its performance for movies, but was criticized for its performance with music and for lacking a HDMI connection. The 321 Series 2G's had similar outcomes, however it was also criticized for value for money. An internal hard drive for storing music was introduced in 2005 for the 321 GSX model. The 321 Series 3 replaced the Series 2 in 2008, adding an HDMI output connection. A GSXL model was introduced with a larger hard drive advertised as having a capacity of 200 hours of music. The first two. One AV receiver system from Bose was the Freestyle, which was introduced in 2002 and used S-PIF and RCA inputs. The system used the same speakers as the 321. The Freestyle was replaced by the Cine Made in 2005, which has only RCA connectors and uses the same speakers as the 321 Series 2. A fiber optic input was added for the Cine Mate Series 2, which was released in 2009. The Lifestyle 235 was released in 2010 and added an AM slash FM radio, iPod dock and HDMI inputs. From 1994 until the mid-2010s, Bose sold several five. One channel audio systems, which used four small satellite speakers and a subwoofer. Early systems used an inbuilt CD player, followed by a DVD player and later models were AV receivers. The first five. One audio system from Bose was the Lifestyle 12, which was released in 1994. The Lifestyle 10 included a single disc CD player and an AM slash FM radio. Beginning in 1996, some models were sold with a six disc CD changer. In 1999, the Lifestyle 12 Series 2 models added a coaxial s slash input. The first products to include a DVD player were the Lifestyle 28 and Lifestyle 35-inch models, which were released in 2001. The Series 2 versions of these products, released in 2004, used a Bose Link audio output instead of the previous Zone 2 RCA outputs. The Lifestyle 38 was one of 22 products to be listed in the Sound and Vision Magazine 2004 Reviewer's Choice Awards. The Lifestyle 48, along with the Boston Acoustics Avidia 610, was a winner of the Home Theater category in the 2006 Audio Video International Hi-Fi Grand Prix Awards. In 2006, the Series 2 models were replaced by the Series 3 models, however the amplifier unit itself was unchanged. The Series 4 version of the DVD-based models were introduced in 2007 and saw HDMI inputs and outputs added to some models. The first five. One AV receiver from Bose was the 1998 Companion model, which used RCA, S-Video and Composite connections. The Companion was one of 100 products listed in Popular Science's 1996 Best of What's New article. In 2007, the Lifestyle V20 and Lifestyle V30 products added HDMI and s slash connections. The Lifestyle T10 and Lifestyle T20 models, released in 2010, added a USB audio input. The Lifestyle V25 and Lifestyle V35, also released in 2010, added an iPod dock and two USB audio inputs. 2201 The 2201 was released in 1966 and was Bose's first speaker system. It consisted of 22 5-inch drivers and was designed to be located in the corner of a room, using reflections off the walls and floor to disperse the sound. The system included tone controls and a switch to attenuate frequencies below 50 Hz. 
The 2201 was a failure in the market and was discontinued after three or four years. 901 The 901 was released in 1968 and was a conventional design consisting of two floor standing speakers. The system has nine drivers per channel, a separate amplifier unit, and an equalizer. Unlike other Bose speakers, the 901 series was not intended to be used without their included 901 active equalizer. While the speakers included metal pedestal stands, ceiling mounts were also available. It was sold until 2016, when the 901 Series 6 was discontinued. A review of the 901 by Stereophile magazine in 1979 concluded, if we were to judge the 901 in terms of the best sound available, then we would say that it produces a more realistic semblance of natural ambience than any other speaker system. But we would characterize it as unexceptional in all other respects. It is ideal for rock enthusiasts to whom sheer sonic impact is of paramount importance, and for classical listeners who want the next best thing to ambient stereo without the cost and the bother of rear channel add-ons. However, we doubt that the 901 will appeal to perfectionists who have developed a taste for subtleties of detail and timbre. In the 1990s, Bose manufactured a lifestyle 901 system that integrated two 901 speakers, the 901 Active Equalizer, and a lifestyle stereo receiver that integrated an AM F M radio tuner and a CD player, as well as a remote control. 301 The 301 bookshelf speakers were released in 1975. Impedance 8 OHMS cabinet, height, 17 inches width, 10.5 inches depth, 9. 25 inches woofer, 8 inches tweeters, 3 inches The Bose 301 Series 2 is a classic and powerful direct-slash-reflecting speaker system delivering ultra-clear sound with stereo effects of remarkable quality. Direct-slash-reflecting speaker technology in these Bose stereo speakers lets you experience a live music concert in the comfort of your home. Asymmetrical design of the Bose 301 Series 2 offers balanced sound effects throughout the room. Integrated 8-inch woofer in this direct-slash-reflecting speaker system provides rich and powerful bass effects. High-sensitivity tweeters of these Bose stereo speakers facilitate wide scattering of the sound, letting you feel the surround effects even if you are at a distance. Dual-frequency crossover network in the Bose 301 Series 2 offers outstanding sound clarity by optimizing output frequencies. The most recent version, the 301 Series 5 has been on sale since 2002. 201 The 201 bookshelf speakers were released in 1982. Similar in design to the larger 301 series, the 201 series featured smaller drivers. The most recent version, the 201 series 5 has been on sale since 2015. Acoustimas Acoustimas 5 series I the Acoustimas 5 was released. In 1987 and consists of a base module and two double cube satellite speakers. This was followed by an Acoustimas 3 system in 1989, which consisted of two single cube satellite speakers and a smaller base module. As of July 2019, the Acoustimas 5 currently remains on sale, in the form of the Series 5 version. The Acoustimas 3 was discontinued in 2016. The original Acoustimas base module featured a wooden ported enclosure round port while the current Acoustimas module features a larger, square port. The cube speakers were recently redesigned with a slimmer profile and are no longer adjustable. New mounting brackets allow the newly designed speakers to mount nearly flush to the wall. In the past, Bose has manufactured a 7.1 channel Acoustimas system, the Acoustimas 16, which featured five double cube satellite speakers, a single center channel speaker, and an Acoustimas base module. The company's first surround sound speakers were the Acoustimas 6 and Acoustimas 10. Both released in 1996. Both products were 5.1 systems, with the Acoustimas 6 using single cube satellite speakers and the Acoustimas 10 using double cube satellite speakers. The Acoustimas 15 5.1 system was sold from 1998 until 2006, and the Acoustimas 16 6.1 system was sold from 2002 until 2006. Bose has manufactured several other stereo speakers. First introduced in 1994, the 111 series environmental speaker was an indoor slash outdoor version of the model 101 music monitor, which was introduced in the late 1980s. The 111 was replaced by the 151, which featured a similar design, but a revised metal speaker grill. In 2004, the 151 was replaced by the 151 SE, which now featured direct slash reflecting speaker technology for wider coverage, 
as well as the versatility of vertical or horizontal mounting using the included flush mount brackets. Also introduced in 2004, the 251 series environmental speaker was a larger version of the 151 series. The 131 marine speaker was a flush mount speaker that was meant to be installed on a boat, and could be connected to the boat's receiver. The FreeSpace 51 is an in-ground landscape speaker that features omnidirectional, 360-degree sound projection, as well as a base port. The speakers are designed to blend in with outdoor landscaping, and the wiring features posi-tap connectors, so that speaker wiring can be hidden underground. In the early 2000s, Bose introduced the 191 virtually invisible in ceiling slash in wall loudspeakers. These speakers included both round and rectangular speaker grills that could be installed according to the homeowner's preferences. The 191 has since been replaced by the X91 series virtually invisible in ceiling slash in wall loudspeakers. Unlike the 191, which included two different styles of speaker grills, the X91 series included different models made specifically for in wall or in ceiling installation. The speaker grills can easily be painted to match the homeowner's decor, and the 191 series could also include it in a line of installed surround sound systems in new home construction. Thanks for watching.